You want to know something potentially really harmful that I see parents do out in public all the time. Like seriously, all the time. And it's because parents don't know that it's problematic. They invalidate their child's experience of the world. Their kid falls down and they get hurt and the adult says, you're fine. The kid starts crying about not getting something that they want at the store and the parents say, there's no reason to cry, stop crying. The kid says, I'm hungry. And they say, no, you're not. You just ate 20 minutes ago. When we do this to adults, there's a word for it. And that word is gaslighting. Gaslighting is when you make someone believe that they don't have an accurate view of the world. Essentially, you make them feel crazy. Like the things that they are experiencing, they are not actually experiencing. While gaslighting adults is obviously really, really bad, gaslighting kids is almost worse. And this is because kids are incredibly impressionable, especially by their primary caregivers. They don't intrinsically know if what they're experiencing is true or not. And so when you cause a child to doubt their lived experience about hunger or pain or discomfort or disappointment, you are actually training them to distrust themselves. This sets up kids for all sorts of mental issues later on in life, not to mention it grooms them for a future abuser. But it's super common. I see it all the time. I see it many times a day out in the store, out at the park. And I think the reason it's so common is that kids are so receptive to it. If you tell a small child that they're not hurt, even when they are, they will stop crying oftentimes because they want to believe you, but it's not worth it. It's not worth the damage that you could be doing. So please, if you are the type of person who was raised in a home that did this, or if you find yourself inclined to do this to your kids, don't do it. Validate their experience. Don't gaslight them.